doing? Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, so congratulations. Sweet. How was it with COVID? It was definitely interesting. I didn't have to wear a mask the whole time, thankfully. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Laboring with a mask. I can't imagine. Oh my gosh. The day I got sent home from the hospital, I got a call that I was exposed to COVID. Oh my God. And thankfully I did not catch it because all the nurses and the practitioners had N95s and like, you know, cloth masks on, but that was not a good call to get right when you get home. Oh, no, not at all. There was a potential exposure, but anyways, well, we're well, good. Congratulations. Here's your medal for having a COVID <laughs> baby. Thank you. Yeah, so obviously she's not old enough to appreciate Gabby's dollhouse yet, but yes, I have been watching it with her in my arms because this is where Aww. she is right now. And I have a six-year-old son um, who enjoys those types of shows and all the little miniatures and stuff yeah. like that. So oh, he, great. Yep. He enjoyed it for sure. Um, my question for you guys is, um, do you have a favorite episode that you've done so far or a favorite DIY or craft or recipe or anything? You go first on this one. Um... Well, one of my favorite episodes is the hiccup episode where Gabby has the hiccups because I feel like we've all had the hiccups <laughs> um, and we really pushed ourselves with this episode to come up with things that felt really quirky and unique. We're always trying to say, you know, there's so many preschool shows out there and everybody's done the birthday show or the pirate show like how does gab how does gabby do it differently and i feel like hiccups really epitomizes that with all the different things she tries to get rid of her hiccups they all just feel sort of a little bit wacky and crazy and unique um and also with the growth mindset she doesn't give up so even though something didn't work she still appreciates how much fun it was and she tried and she doesn't give up um, so that's, that's one of my favorite episodes and I feel like it really epitomizes the show. Yeah, for sure. I love, um, one of my favorites is upcoming. It hasn't dropped yet. Um, but it's called Keiki's Cousins and it's all about that enjoyment. I think everybody loves hanging out with your cousins where at the beginning of the live action, um, Floyd's cousins, we have live kittens on set. We just shot, which was so fun. Six kittens on set. Little six kittens. And then Gabby unboxes uh, little cupcake cousins, Cakey's cousins, who come into the dollhouse for a play date. And much to, you know, Cakey has everything all planned out the way it's gonna go. And of course it doesn't go as planned. And as a producer, as a mom, I, you know, have my producer hat on again, where I always think I'm going to make these memories where we're going to, you know, do this a certain way and make cookies and blah, blah, blah. And just how havoc ensues with the cousins and they don't do what Keiki's plan, but they still have fun and they're still making wonderful memories. Um, and I just love that arc of Keiki realizing that, you know, just roll with it. It's okay. We're making great memories. Everyone's having fun. And as a mom, it's a good reminder to me just yep. to like, relax. It's all right. It didn't go as planned, but you know, the kids are smiling and laughing and bonding and connection is happening. So that's good. So that's one of my favorites, but I, we love them all. I mean, they're all so special in their own way, just like kids. Yep. I completely agree. I like the hiccups one too. I obviously, I haven't seen the one that you're speaking of yet, but uh, the hiccups one was kind of cute. I was wondering like, are there any unique ways to get rid of hiccups? Like, when <laughs> Well, we came up with three right yep. there in the show. <laughs> yeah. We love the idea of kids making making their own uh hiccup machine you know yeah, sometimes one of the best ways to get rid of the hiccups is like focus on something else so so it just might work <laughs> it might you never never know <laughs> all right so um Layla is amazing as Gabby by the way I am Thank like you. I she does such a good job of like transitioning from like live action and keeping you engaged the entire time and so um as far as casting for the show um, how did you find Layla? Was she like, you know, you know, just a random kid that was like, hey, I want to do this? Or <laughs> no, like, uh, like, I want to be her. <laughs> when we when we were casting for Gabby, DreamWorks casting department really put out a wide net all over the country. We saw over a thousand girls right. for Gabby. Um, and when we saw Lila, she just she had this connection and there was something just so natural about her that we felt like she could really connect with kids. She wasn't, it didn't feel like she was acting, even though she's an amazing actress, she just felt really natural and that she was playing. And um, we just, 
actually wrapped 27 episodes shooting here in uh, New York with Lila. And um, she's just, she's, an, she's amazing. She's such a great kid. And she embodies the real growth mindset and humor and talk about self-confidence in herself, but the, you know, laughing at herself too when she makes mistakes. And uh, animation wise, you know, just she translated so well to animation. She has these amazing eyebrows. Jen and I love that, you know, they, they kind of can go one up, one down. They're just so expressive. And that translated so well when she became an animator. And she was, she had never done voiceover before and she just knocked it out of the park. Yep. Yeah, she's definitely talented. Like I said, I, I want to be her. Like I want to get those, you know, those presents coming down the slide. And I know. Like, <laughs> I know. We laugh. We laugh about her. Presents. She's just so beautiful to look at too. Just oh, like, her hair oh, is amazing. I know. We love her hair. Yeah, yeah. her hair never been like that. <laughs> she just has this way of connecting that, you know, immediately when we saw her, we were like, oh, it's Gabby. Yep. So and after, after DreamWorks, Dallas, DreamWorks made that happen. Yep. They they worked really hard in finding. The we went through so Gabby. many rounds, and we'd be like, eh, "We don't feel like we found her yet. Can we keep going?" And they said, "Yes, we'll keep going until we found Lila." And then it was well, good. I'm glad that you found her because she definitely yep. is is good in the show. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So, um, really quickly, I was curious if there was a, a favorite part that you guys got to, to bring in from your childhood. Is it like your love for cats or, you know, the miniatures, the, the dollhouse, or what was your favorite part that you got to bring in? For me, it was the dollhouse. That was like the thing that I loved and remember so vividly as a child playing in my dollhouse and creating these worlds and bringing my brother's car into the dollhouse and the, my little glass animal collection. We both loved miniatures as kids. Yeah, I would say for me, it was the miniatures. I loved collecting all those little Hello Kitty erasers and all the little mini pencils and all the little, you know, tchotchkes and uh, even making out of Play-Doh like miniature bacon and eggs and little fruit bowls yeah. and just love that it was just so special and now to be able to put you know combine that all together was just a dream come true and I joke with Jen you know I have three boys so I love being able to play in the dollhouse in this way <laughs> and again not that they didn't have dollhouses when they were little but they didn't really spark to it as much as I hoped they would <laughs> so I get to play now <laughs> awesome well thank you guys so much Thank, Thank you. you. And congrats. Look at Enjoy her. That baby. Oh, I wish I could smell her head. <laughs>